Good morning to all guests, faculty and staff, parents, and our dear student awardees. Let me begin by asking you to reminisce. Remember that day in March 2020 when the first lockdown was announced. How were things going for you back then? First came the sudden suspension of classes, then the struggles of the students and faculty to adjust to the online modality, the new rules that we had to adopt, the injustices during the pandemic, and these were all on top of our internal difficulties, the loved ones who have gone ahead, the mental and emotional breakdowns that only ourselves may have been aware of. Look back at the past two years. Then, look at yourselves now. You have come out stronger with heads held high, and you are now reaping the fruit of your hard work that you know came with many sacrifices. Now, I want you to pat yourself on the back, or perhaps ask somebody else to do it. Sayang, online muna tayo ngayon, so you cannot ask a fellow honor student beside you to do it. Today, we recognize your honest efforts. Rising above the obstacles brought about by the past two, perhaps, most challenging years as UP students. I would love to share some experiences with you, though we must appreciate that we are from different times. Not minding the age gap, pero di pa naman ako ganun katanda. We are from different generations. And I would like to focus on the challenges and opportunities. When I entered UP Mindanao more than a decade ago, the environment was different. Most UP students applied for scholarships since free tuition was not for all. We had to take the abortion road for our classes in the CSM and CHSS buildings. Sometimes when it rained, we had to walk going back to the dorm after our 5.30 to 7 p.m. class kay walay motor na musukulog sundo. We had excellent professors, the legendary scary ones who did train us hard and sharpened our grit. It was generally rare to get a flat one in most courses, despite the sleepless nights spent studying for the exams. We were active in organizations that got us out of our shell, unleashed our potential, and contributed to shaping us into critical thinkers. In my case, I was a former USC counselor and a member of the UP Sigma Beta sorority, PAFT, Pulos, and Smogs, which all helped me grow and become more aware of my surroundings. Also, when I was a freshman, I had to budget my at most 500 peso allowance per week. And I know many students had to live with a lot less than that. Yet, these experiences taught us to make do of what we have, however small. These have molded me, us, into well-rounded individuals who are committed to serving society in our own ways. These unforgettable experiences let us meet genuine people. And these former UP Mindanao students are now experts in various industries, educators and researchers, entrepreneurs, public servants, communicators, doctors, lawyers, architects, and leaders in their chosen fields. You now have a multitude of resources and opportunities that were not available to the previous batches. You have unlimited access to information that assist your learning and growth. However, with this comes the challenge of identifying misinformation from fact, the bad and the good, the wrong and less wrong. In the past two years, you did not have the chance to interact with each other in person. You could not physically conduct activities, which are a huge part of student life. Behind the small box with your face in Zoom that we, your professors, see 
are individuals juggling to draw a line between one, being a student at home, and two, being a son or daughter or ate or kuya who needs to wash the dishes, do the chores, and take care of your younger brother or sister. Your experiences are different. However, it amazes us how a number of you are able to get through. Of course, your successes are not yours alone. And you know who to thank for the inspiration and the motivation, especially during the worst times. As they say, the darkness yields to the smallest light. And sometimes this light comes from the people around you every day or your mundane realities which suddenly poke out some sort of enlightenment. I hope starting today, you will begin thanking those who help you through your journey. As one of your teachers, I have to say that the past two years have also been challenging for us faculty as well as the staff. As much as we want to mentor you effectively, we can only do so much. Asynchronous learning has become the practice for some, wherein you students play the big part. Yet, you need to understand that being a UP student is not just about fulfilling your academic responsibilities and getting good grades. You have a lot more trials to overcome. More people are counting on your capabilities and innovative and progressive ideas. You do not need to fit in society because you are made to stand out and lead while being grounded on the values that are dear to you and the values that UP upholds. It is an achievement for us mentors to see you excel academically and in your social civic and personal endeavors. As always, do things with honor and excellence and compete only with yourself. It is overwhelming to see hundreds of university and college scholars in this Zoom meeting and uh, watching our live stream. Some of you here are graduating. Some still have several semesters left. At this point onwards, ask yourself, how can I bring about change, small or big, as a UP scholar? This may entail going out of your comfort zone, rising above failures, welcoming new ideas, and engaging in constructive discussions, taking hard-earned breaks from time to time, knowing when and from whom you can get help, realizing how you can in turn help others, especially the minorities, and prioritizing what matters to you. Reflect on who and what keeps you going. May that be your family, partner, best friend, God, even your favorite K-drama star, boy band, or anime character. This will make you efficiently and effectively manage the tasks that bombard you every day. For me, I spend enough time with the people I love because they are the reason I work hard. Also, the various Korean drama series that I watch almost every night gives me a well-deserved rest. Di lang dapat na pasobra kay basig maadikta. Let me end by reminding you to make the most of every opportunity you have now and to use your social influence impactfully. To reiterate what Chancellor Murao said in her opening remarks, use your critical thinking in the right track towards national development. With everything happening today, the recently concluded elections, the issues on red tagging, academic freedom, discrimination of all sorts, and the COVID-19 still at large, you have more work to do. Always stay empowered so you can also empower others. Congratulations and padayon, mga iskolar ng bayan. We are counting on you.